Hi, and welcome to my build of Tacom's M103A1 heavy tank. This one will be the Munich version. E Company, 34th Armour, 24th US Infantry Division, Munich, West Germany, 1959. I hope you enjoy. I was really impressed with the main parts of the kit. The upper and lower hole went together really well. The turret was really well detailed. The only exception would be the tracks and some of the lower parts that required some sanding. My Vallejo pick and place double ended tool really made the model build an enjoyable time. It certainly paid for its dues when it comes to making the tracks later on.
I was really impressed with the fit of all the parts. No putty was required for this build. The rear upper hull clicks into place really nicely. I had some difficulty working out how to place these towing bars and had to look at reference material. The tracks look great and all the pieces fit together really nicely, but I don't think I'd ever attempt to build the tracks like this again. I would go out and purchase a separate set. Overall, each individual set took approximately 40 minutes and there were many, many, many of those.
The turret was a real joy to build. I loved the detail and the texture. It was great that Tecum included the metal barrel for the 120mm. It was though unfortunate that the mantle covering would only fit with the plastic one included in the kit. I used two wonderful call sign model figures, Australian Army tankers, and changed the heads to the correct helmets. I also added a mini art figure for the older gentleman. The only thing I should have changed was the belts that they were wearing. I spray painted the figures with AK's third generation skin tone, but I wasn't pleased with the result. It looked a little bit too light for me. So I cleared most of that and repainted using Vallejo skin tone colors. Ammo's liquid mask was an easy option to cover the skin on the face and hands so I could paint the rest of the figures. Using a fine pointed glue applicator really made it easy to get the substance into the smaller areas.
I decided to use the ammo modulation set rather than the AK for this model. I also use Voyager models wheel stencil. The M26 fit perfectly. I regularly change the spray brew filter. I purchased mine at a discount on Amazon. As I haven't built a model using this type of tracks before, I left the guards off so that I could fit the tracks a lot better. I started weathering the tank using the Aptalung oil paint. I then used MIG Dark Mud Oil Brusher. Tamiya dark brown panel line was used on particularly the upper hull on the rear deck as well as the pigments to highlight areas along the top of the turret.
create the hole for the antenna base, I heated a large needle with a lighter and then drilled out the hole. I have several Green Stuff World texture rollers. Really simple to use. No additional materials were needed. It was just rolled straight across the sculptor mold. I find a cheap hot air gun off Amazon much more effective than using a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. Thank you for watching, I really hope you found the model build and techniques useful. Thank mm -hmm. you.